Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is November 1st of 2016. And I just kind of wanted to update you a little bit on what's been going on. I have on order a new camera. It's the Panasonic FZ300K, which in the UK is the FZ330K. I had this camera before. Uh, the old version of this was the FZ200, and this is the FZ300. I, I had the 200. I thought it was the best camera that I ever had. I loved it. My problem with it was that it was a bridge camera. Just uh, I needed, I wanted something that I could slip into my pocket. So I, I knew I was making a mistake. I sold the FZ. I'm not sure why I'm saying FZ 200, and I got this, which is the Panasonic. LX7, which is also a fantastic camera. Uh, but I missed that FZ200 for a number of reasons. Uh, and now they, of course, well, a while back they came out with the FZ300. And this has the FZ300 as a touch screen. Uh, it has a much better, and that's one of the things that I that's one of the things the uh, viewfinder on the old camera was good, really good. I thought it was great to go, to go out in bright, bright sunlight or whatever. You can look through that viewfinder and take your picture and it was great. This is an improvement on that, a big improvement on that. It's even better. So it has a touch screen. It has a new and improved viewfinder. It does 4K video. It's, uh, they don't say waterproof, but they have given it some protection against uh, moisture. And that was, a, that's a problem with with this, I just I love to take it out into rainstorms and take pictures, but I'm always afraid to get my camera wet or my cell phone wet. And so this one is what do they call it? Dust proof and uh, moisture, oh, splash proof and dust proof. Uh, so. I ordered this with, well, see, I ordered it yesterday. It will be here tomorrow. And my intent, and it, uh, I already installed the app. Oh, that's another thing. It does Wi-Fi now. The old model did not. And the app, Panasonic app, well, um, and there's more pages to this. It will, um, it's searching for the camera. Well, you're not going to find it. Uh, the app, well, I'm, I'm using the Logitech USB C930E, which is, I've made uh, 100 videos with it. I, and I've been making with C920 before that, I made several hundred videos with it and it's worked out really great that's what i'm using right now but my plan maybe i won't stick with it the plan is to use this to make these videos and i'll be able to with a tablet or my cell phone zoom in and out change the settings all that type of stuff right from here and, and to this camera here does not have a articulating screen so with the new camera I'm getting it does so I'll be able to see 
that's one reason I haven't. I thought a few times about, you know, using this in this situation, but kind of difficult without the articulating screen. So um, I'll be getting that. So I may start using that camera. I'm not sure that I'll be doing 4K. Well, we'll see. Uh, does 4K video, of course, does slow motion, does, oh, that this, the old version of this and this one, uh, the settings on it are really, I mean, you can put it in auto mode and do everything in auto mode, but the settings that it has, I don't even understand 30% uh, of what you can do. So, but I do want to try to learn and I want to, um, I'd like to make a, some really, really good, you know, videos. Uh, the Veterans Day Parade will be coming up in downtown Fort Worth, and I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'll take the camera down there and try to make a really good, you know, video to see how good I can do. So, anyway, that new camera's coming. Uh, the audio with this is from the MXL uh, cardio mic, and I've figured out eventually the problem I was having I was for a while some of the old videos uh, only the left channel was being heard and I, I went into some settings and saw what I needed to do so you should be getting uh, right and left but I think see with the new camera that's coming I'm planning on using the audio with it We'll see how that goes. Uh, if not, I'll probably set up two mics and then use that audio, but then I'm going to have to go into the uh, settings and figure out um, how I sync it up. I haven't actually done that. There's a lot of stuff I need to do that I haven't done. Well, since I can't Turn it back on us. The heck with that, huh? Uh, my grandson lives with me. He's 26 or 27. And he's been interviewed a couple times for an advancement, but he'd have to go to another store. Tomorrow he's having his final interview. And if they offer him enough money, uh, he's going to go ahead and take the job, but he'll have to move from here. So if, uh, if he moves, I think I'd like to, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I think I'd like to live in Florida again. Maybe Titusville. If you happen to be in Titusville and you know of a place I could rent. Oops. I'm also, um, yes, this is a correct, I haven't, <laughs> oh, I guess it'd have to, okay. It's been so long since I, it's been over a month, I haven't taken my, I'm going to start doing it again. to stick myself again. You can set the depth on this thing so you can uh, go deeper. I have it. I don't want to set it any deeper. 
bleed. I don't think you can see it out of it. Okay, come on. This looks like it's clotting right away. Don't clot on me. What the heck is going on here? Oh, good. It worked. 108. That's good. I can uh, I can live with 108. I don't have hepatitis or AIDS or anything, but it is still, you should still use, put it in a hazmat thing to protect, so you don't want somebody, I'd want to put this in the trash or something and have somebody get stuck by a sharp or whatever. Okay. No, still trying to connect. Stop trying to connect. Okay, come on. Okay. Uh, Diabetes M is the program. Let's see if you can see that. Up, 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 up. See, if I start using my uh, new camera, it has, by the way, a 24 to 600 zoom on it. That's what the old one had, too. There, someplace in the 600 videos I have on here, uh, there's some sample videos. Not great. Okay, it's been so long since I've done this that... Uh, Is this the, uh, yes, okay, time, night, no, uh, before breakfast, glucose level, 108, uh, Hillary, my daughter from Sweden, who's here, ordered $61 worth of pizza last night, and I, uh, ate quite a bit, so I was kind of concerned about what my glucose level might be. Okay, now I save it. Successfully saved. Okay, doke. I installed my fitness pal on here. It was recommended someplace. I don't know if I'll, I haven't done anything yet with it. I decided I would do everything at the, uh, let's see. My goal is 1,760, I've never counted calories. Is 1,760 calories a day. I, don't know if whoever the recommend you know said it was easy to do and okay um, I took this a short time ago this is the uh, on the first of the month I have to fill up my I got that a container, this thing here, and uh, I thought it was a great idea. I still think it's a great idea, but 
on the first of the month, it's a bitch doing 31 containers, putting, you know, especially when you got a bunch of medications. And uh, anyway, I have to do that. For, I did that, got that taken care of. Here's the day one. Morning, there is one, two, three, four, five, six pills. And I can't even count how many pills are in the, the night thing. I blogged about this uh, just a while ago, by the way. Like I said, I've got, I think, 600 videos on YouTube. And at least six, I think it are, I think it are. I think at least six of the videos, uh, YouTube has turned off uh, monetizing of it, meaning that they have decided that uh, they're not are going to allow any ads to be put on there. Therefore, I can't make any money from you all watching one of my videos and seeing one of my uh, one of the advertisements they put on there. Uh, and the reason that they did it now, you can appeal to them, which I haven't done and I'm not going to do. But uh, the reason that they did it was uh, I did this review here of. Uh, this container to put uh, your medications in. I did a review of a pill cutter and showed how to how to cut pills with it. And then there was another review of this pill container in a different situation. And then I talked about in a video some medications that I was taking. Well, in the tags. I put, like I did just now, I put uh, medication and I put pills. And well, I forgot to, I was intending to put drugs like the rest of them had. So maybe that, maybe medications and I don't think so. I think they're going to reject it also. I know if I'd put drug in there, they would have uh, rejected it. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing, I, I only make about $30 a month from commissions, from you all watching my videos. And they only pay when it's $100. And it's been like three months. So I think this month I should get about $100, a little bit over $100 from them. I think when that happens, I think I'm just going to go into the settings and say, do not monetize any of my videos, none of the old videos, none of the new videos, and so you won't see any videos, or you won't see any uh, advertising in my videos. That's my intent right now. I might change my mind. Uh, one of the videos that they turned off uh, monetizing of it was uh, the pill cutter video which had 22,000 views so far and another one had uh, 3,400 views and they they turned out you know so I don't know I'm just you know uh, Google and YouTube have their rules and they're entitled to it they're a company and then Amazon has their, you know, their policies and their rules, and they're entitled to it. They're not a government agency that you can't say they're, cent you know, censorship and all that kind of stuff. They can do what they want to do, but I'm 75 years old, and I don't have to fucking, oh, I'm, you can't say, uh, on YouTube now you're not supposed to do cussing and swearing. That is a no-no. Uh, they will turn off the your ability to make anything if you do it. So I'm just I'm too old to I never I did a radio program over a shortwave broadcast station back in well when John F. Kennedy was president and I was doing it when he was assassinated. What year was that? I can't remember. But uh, 
I was, it was broadcast two or three times a week, depending on ionospheric conditions, and it broadcast over three or four frequencies of Europe, Africa, and Latin America, and I enjoyed doing it. it I was a kid, and it was, uh, you know, I kind of thought, hey, I'm, I'm a radio DJ, you know? And I wasn't doing a new, I was doing a, for amateur radio operators and shortwave listeners. And, uh, but I did put a news item in there because uh, the Federal Communications Commission was investigating and thinking of revoking the license of WINB, a religious right-wing religious political station, because there was some confusion. They thought that, that's, you know, the Voice of America was broadcasting on frequencies, just, you know, high-powered 500 thousand watts of power and uh, all that type of stuff but these uh, few private stations were able to broadcast of course and be heard and the FCC and I guess the government was a little was thinking you know well these people in foreign countries are going to hear this and think that this is official you know that we have an official religion and we have uh you know, right-wing politics or whatever. So, anyway, I put the little news clip in the thing, and the the station WRUL in New York City, uh, they deleted it out of my broadcast. So when I, when I heard my broadcast that week, that item was missing. So I put a uh, I put it back in and said that WRUL radio shouldn't you know have a little bit of courage, and because they were in the same they could have been in the same situation as. Although everybody felt that WRUL radio had very strong connections with the Central Intelligence Agency, which I think was true. Um, but I put it in there and said, you know, that they shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't have taken it out. And uh, that was the end of my radio broadcast. So I've always been, you know, I, I got hired in as a career clerk for the post office and worked a month or two and told them, you know, take this job and shove it. And they were like, my God, are you insane? This is a career civil service job. No one, re no one quits a uh, civil service job. And I said, show me the paperwork to sign. So, and here I am 75 years old. I was a young man then. Here I am, 75 years old, and I don't want to deal with... Uh, the, the thing with Amazon is they're, uh, they've changed their policy on reviewing. And uh, there again, they, they have their reasons, and a lot of people agree that they, with what they've, you know, what they've done, I just think it could have been done differently. What they did, if you don't know, is I was getting a lot of requests, of people sending me a lot of stuff to review, and I was reviewing it and putting the reviews on Amazon. And of course I put there, if you were required by law actually, and I put on there that I was sent this uh, uh, for free uh, to review. And uh, so a lot of people like yourself, maybe customers, uh, thought maybe we were dishonest because they were getting something for free. And so they didn't, so, you know, they didn't like it. And so Amazon decided to correct that and not allow any reviews to be done if it was, uh, a product was given to a person unless it was given to the person and the person wasn't, you know, oh, fuck, you know. Unless it was given to the person without the person, the seller giving it to them, asking them to do a review. What the fuck, you know? Does that, you know, that make any fucking sense? And then there was some other stuff. And uh, so I was getting 10 or 15, kind of a pain in the ass, I was getting 10 or 15 requests a night to do reviews. And of course I only took the ones but first I took a whole bunch, just, oh wow, people are gonna send me stuff for free. 
But then I just I started just doing stuff that I actually wanted. And of course I gave away 90% of what I got to the neighbors around here and everything. Um, so then, uh, let's see. Oh, so then when they put the their new policy into effect, I get one maybe request a night and that's from a, a, a seller who says, are you able to do a review, you know, um, for me? I had one though that, that contacted me and said, well, this new Amazon policy, could you do something for us? We will pay you. And what we want you to do is 40 reviews using a, a, a different username for each one and a different IP for each one. And of course I told him no. I, I didn't ask how much, but I told him no. But, uh, so I, I just kind of tired. I am. Well, I, I was gonna go vote today, early voting in Texas. But then I did a search and it's not my regular voting place that I've been voting for years. And I think I'll just wait uh, until now till I might change my mind and go to the, it's six miles away. I don't have a car. Uh, weather's not bad, but I think I'd do an Uber. I just, I live on, actually in Fort Worth, I didn't know Fort Worth had hills. I actually live on a hill and getting, walking up the hill to the bus, I could walk down, but then when I come, uh, I think I'd take an Uber there and back. And my regular voting place, I took the bus every time, but once I walked home from there, that was a few years ago though. So I think I'll just wait for my regular, but I may change my mind and vote today. I guess I'm, I'm like you. Uh, I will be glad when this election is over. Oh my God. It's, in the future, when they make a movie about this, when somebody writes it into history, people are not going to believe. You know, it started out as a screwed up election and every day it gets crazier. It's like, you know, I, I, is this really happening? Maybe I've uh, got dementia, Alzheimer's. Maybe I'm dreaming this. It just gets crazier every, every day. I just want this to be over with so soon. I'd like to win a lottery and I think I, you know, uh, Arizona, or not Arizona, starts with an A. Australia, when they pick cities or whatever, Australia usually has the top, for, you know, the best places in the world to live. Melbourne, uh, not Brisbane. Anyway, it's, it's, it's Australia gets in the top three. Uh, best places to, you know, but Australia has every type of venomous creature of, around that uh, I, I don't know about New Zealand. I'm thinking if I would win a lottery, New Zealand. Although I've been watching HGTV, HDTV, what is it? And they have uh, island hunters where people are looking to, to live on an island and that type of stuff. and. Some of those Caribbean islands, unbelievable. Just imagine living someplace like that your entire life. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and hey, uh, check back here pretty quick. You're gonna see some new video. I hope it's, I hope it's good. Thank you very much for watching.